doing here is we're sampling the um, organic topsoil and the mineral topsoil for um, you know, DNA and RNA extraction to look at um, microbial communities and also function in terms of enzymes. So what, what we've got here is um, it's a preserver solution pre-weighed before we come to the field and we put approximately two grams of soil in and it basically stabilizes the DNA and the RNA and we don't have to freeze things and whatever. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the soil under those dunes. So I've just taken out a sample here, taken it down to about 20 centimeters. Have a look here, you'll see very two distinct layers. Up here you've got an organic layer that's rich, high in organic matter, uh, and that's very different soil. That's the, uh, the the cycling of the organic matter from the forest system sitting on the base soil, that's the sand down here, which is the uh, horizon below, the organic horizon. And obviously there's going to be different nutrient in this. We're going to take some samples of that organic layer, uh, the deeper layer. We're going to look at that for phosphorus, nitrogen, various nutrients. We'll also take a sample of this and we'll look at the microbial community. So the microorganisms in these soils, they'll drive a lot of the processes, the decomposition, the turnover of the nutrients. And so we'll take some subsamples here. We'll specifically isolate the, the soil, preserve it, take it back to the lab. We'll extract some DNA. So we'll extract DNA, believe that or not, we'll get DNA out of this soil wow. belonging to the organisms. In here, you've probably got about 1 billion microorganisms per gram of soil. Whoa. That's one quarter of a teaspoon and over a billion microorganisms. And what, what are we going to do with the DNA then? Well, then we're going to interrogate that DNA because we don't need to culture those microorganisms. We can actually extract the DNA. We can interrogate that and get a complete comprehensive picture of the community in that soil. Uh, down to the DNA sequence level, we'll get, we'll get some metagenomic information around those organisms, find out what functional genes they've got, what their diversity is in terms of their taxonomic distribution. And I can already make a big guess that the community we get here is going to be very different to the community we find down here. But the bigger challenge is, is to go to different dunes and look how that community changes over time. Because as the soils develop, as the progression of the soils develop over time across successive dunes, we want to find out what the community is doing at that same time. Because they're a big driver. Of the a little soil bit more through. I think it's, it's a bit like reverse sieving in some ways. It's like basically putting it through a sieve, but doing it under the field conditions. And as we do that, we thoroughly mix the sample across those depths. Because in the end, we only want about 200 grams of soil to take back to the lab. And we'll now just selectively take some grab samples here, around about 200 grams, put them into our composite sample. And when we've got that, uh, we've now got a very uniform mineral soil down to 20 centimetres. We'll take that back to the lab and away we go.